Ken Wall's life and career are a testament to resilience, versatility, and dedication. Born October 31, 1954 in Chicago, his early years were marked by adversity, but he rose above these obstacles to become a celebrated actor. Join us as we explore his life and career as Facts First presents What Happened to Ken Wall After He Broke His Neck. Early Life Ken Wall, born October 31, 1954 in Chicago, had a challenging upbringing. His early life was marked by adversity, but he persevered to become a well-known actor. Wall's childhood was marred by poverty and instability. Raised in a tough neighborhood on the south side of Chicago, he faced a turbulent family life and struggled with dyslexia, which made school a significant challenge. Despite these obstacles, Wall developed a strong work ethic and determination to overcome his circumstances. His journey into acting began when he moved to California in the 70s. In L.A., he started out doing odd jobs while pursuing his passion for acting. His rugged good looks and charisma caught the attention of casting directors, leading to his first notable role in the 1979 film The Wanderers, a coming-of-age drama set in the 1960s. But it was his role in the popular TV series Wise Guy that catapulted Wall to fame. Playing Vinnie Terranova, an undercover FBI agent infiltrating organized crime, Wall showcased his acting talent and versatility. Wise Guy aired from 1987 to 90 and earned him critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Ken's career was marked by several notable film roles as well. He starred in The Taking of Beverly Hills in 1991, a high-octane action film, and The Soldier in 82, a Cold War thriller. His performances were often characterized by his intense screen presence and ability to bring depth to his characters. Interesting facts about Ken. Native American heritage. Ken Wall's heritage includes Native American ancestry, which he has mentioned in interviews. While specific details about his Native American heritage are not widely known, this aspect of his background adds an interesting dimension to his identity. Military service. Before embarking on his acting career, Ken briefly served in the U.S. Army. Although his military service was relatively short-lived, it's a notable part of his life story, showcasing his early sense of duty and commitment to serving his country. Strong on-screen presence. One of Ken's defining attributes as an actor was his powerful on-screen presence. He had an ability to captivate audiences with his charisma and intensity, which made him a sought-after leading man in both television and film. His performances were often characterized by his ability to convey complex emotions and connect with viewers on an emotional level. Martial Arts Experience Wall was known for his physical fitness and martial arts skills, which he sometimes incorporated into his roles. His background in martial arts not only contributed to his authenticity in action-oriented roles, but also added an extra layer of depth to his portrayal of characters involved in physical confrontations. Up and Down Romantic Life Ken Wall's romantic life has been both eventful and public, with notable relationships that have caught media attention over the years. In the late 80s, Tracy Lords, an actress and former adult film star, had a brief affair with Ken. This relationship occurred after Lords made a guest appearance on Wall's TV series. Lords described Wall in her autobiography, Tracy Lords Underneath It All, as a charismatic and simple man who impressed her with his down to earth nature and kindness. She noted that he was the first person she had been involved with outside of the adult film industry, which led her to reconsider her views on relationships. Ken Wall married Corinne Alphen, a former Pet House Pet of the Year, in 1983. The couple had a son together named Raymond, and Wall also became a stepfather to Louis, Alphen's son from a previous marriage. Their marriage, however, ended in divorce in 1991. The relationship and the subsequent split were part of Wall's public persona during his active years in Hollywood. After his divorce from Alphen, Walls married Shane Barbie in 1997. Barbie, alongside her twin sister Sia, gained fame as the Barbie Twins, known for their modeling work and animal rights advocacy. 
Ken Wall and Shane Barbie's relationship has been significant in his life, particularly in the years following his retreat from acting. The couple shares a deep commitment to animal rights and veteran support, working together on various related causes. The partnership seems to have been a stabilizing and positive influence in Wall's life, especially considering his struggles with injury and addiction. Legal Troubles Ken has had a few notable run-ins with the law over the years. In 1995, Wall was charged with disturbing the peace following an incident related to drunk driving. This legal trouble highlighted some of the personal challenges Wall was facing at the time, particularly relating to substance abuse. He eventually pleaded no contest to both charges and received probation as a consequence. This period in his life seemed to be tumultuous, reflecting the difficulties he faced following his serious injury and subsequent decline in his acting career. His troubles escalated in the mid-1990s when he was arrested for allegedly threatening a bartender with a hunting knife. The incident reportedly occurred after the bartender refused to serve him alcohol. Wall pleaded no contest to these charges as well and was ordered to enter a live-in alcohol rehabilitation program. The incident further indicated the depth of Wall's struggles with alcohol during this period. In a separate legal matter, Ken was involved in a lawsuit against his former business manager, Henry Levine. Wall accused Levine of conspiring with his first wife, Corrine Alphen, to defraud him. The lawsuits reflect another aspect of the challenges Wall faced. The Motorcycle Accident In 1992, Ken Wall experienced a significant and life-altering injury that had a profound impact on his career and personal life. The incident occurred at the house of Joan Child, who was at the time the girlfriend and later the wife, of comedian Rodney Dangerfield. Wall had a severe fall at Child's house, where he tumbled down a flight of slippery marble stairs. The accident resulted in a broken neck and a serious spinal column injury. The severity of these injuries was such that they led to chronic pain and major limitations in Wall's physical abilities, significantly impacting his ability to continue his acting career. Initially, Wall did not reveal the circumstances of his injury to the public. Instead, he told the media that his injuries were the result of a motorcycle accident. This version of the story was conveyed to protect the privacy of Joan Child, as she had requested that the details of the incident at her home not be disclosed. The accident marked a turning point in Wall's life, leading to a period of personal struggles, including issues with alcohol and legal troubles. The pain and limitations he experienced as a result of the injury were significant factors. Recent times. Over the past decade, Ken's life and activities have significantly diverged from his earlier career as a prominent actor. Since his broken neck incident and issues with alcohol abuse following it, he has stayed away from the Hollywood life. His legal issues have added to that as well. He's turned his focus towards supporting causes like animal rights and aiding disabled U.S. military veterans. His initiatives include supporting animal adoption for veterans dealing with PTSD and depression, highlighting the therapeutic potential of animals in the recovery process. This was inspired by his own experience, where animals provided comfort during his recovery from his neck injury. Wall's involvement in veterans' causes is particularly notable. He's worked hard to pass the Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members, or PAWS Act, aiming to provide war veterans with domestic rescue animals. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Ken Wall? Let us know in the comments section below.